Yo, what's going on, guys? This is me, Mr. Sheepman Gaming, and today I'm back bringing you with another video. Today's video is going to be on FIFA 17, as if you don't know already. And uh, this is a series I started. Uh, this is the second episode. It's on um, Columbia career mode. So essentially, I'm doing a career mode with Columbia. And uh, if you don't know, uh, I already qualified to the World Cup. Um, go check that video. I haven't yet. Uh, not much I had to do, but it was pretty disappointing, as you know, we drew to Bolivia and we only. I mean, we won the Bolivia 1-0, and we only drew to Paraguay. I meant to Uruguay, which Uruguay actually is a good team, but Bolivia, not so much. Uh, but yeah, they gave us a tough game, but we actually beat them. And so, uh, I don't know how we're going to do with the rival. It's always complicated us through history, even though they are pretty bad. Uh, Venezuela, but I still think we're probably going to beat them. And um, yeah, I really hope uh, we can, but it's just a friendly. Uh, it doesn't really matter, but it's some practice before the World Cup starts, because it's going gonna, it's gonna to start very, very soon. In a couple months or whatnot. Um, so yeah, um, I hope you guys will enjoy this video, and uh, yep, hopefully we can get into the highlights and uh, try to see what happens in this match. So guys, as you can see, James Rodriguez has the ball, and he's kind of dribbling, you know, and he passes it to Carlos Baca, and Carlos Baca passes it through to Arias and makes it 1-0. What a cheeky goal from Santiago Arias. Very good play from Carlos Baca, and now we're beating our local rivals Venezuela by a goal difference of one. So that that's um pretty cheeky play, I have to say. Just easily, you know, easily goes into the back of the net. You know, we're looking for more here. We're looking for more. And James Rodriguez passes it to Carlos Baca. Carlos Baca runs it down, and Carlos Baca. Oh no, it looks like he's injured. This looks like he's injured. Goalkeeper throws the ball, and it's time to take Carlos Baca off because the. The ref uh, blows the whistle. So we're going to take him off for Borja. We're going to see how Borja does today. And hopefully he can do us a good performance, you know? And Borja gets the ball, using his strength to beat his defenders. And slides it in. It's a goal. 2-0. That's, that's, that's a pretty quick goal for a sub. I'm, I'm not going to lie. So that's a very quick goal. That, that's a good goal. That's, that's pretty quick. That's a good performance so far that it's looking... Uh, we're looking to destroy Venezuela, really, <laughs> looking to destroy them, which I hope that's the case, because um, I don't want to humiliate ourselves, and we want to prepare ourselves well for the World Cup, and the Hamas Rodriguez gets the ball, passes it through, Borja makes it three, Borja already has two goals, that's really crazy, it's just, it's unbelievable, Borja's just, I don't know, he's just so on fire right now, he's just, so lit up, he's just so dope, so good, such a good player, recommend you guys try him, especially on your career mode, very very good. And then Borja, I don't know what he's doing down the wing, he cuts inside, and takes a shot, oh and it goes off the rebound, and he makes it 4-0, Borja gets the hat trick, goes off the post, as a rebound, and this guy is just Finishing is so bloody clinical, mate. Just so look, look, look at that. He's just this guy just can't miss. Every time he shoots, it's gold. And if, even if he does miss, it's gonna hit the pole or something. James Rodriguez has the ball. Passes it to Borja. Borja fakes it, takes a shot out of nowhere and makes it five nil. Wasn't necessarily out of nowhere, but you know, a kind of unexpected shot. You know, after you fake it, but that was a really sick goal. I'm not gonna lie. And Borja is just. Amazing, amazing performance today. Amazing performance today against Venezuela. Very, very good player. He, he's looking to become the star of the show, you know. It's not really looking to go Hamas way, but Hamas is doing good as well, you know. You have to give him credit. He's getting the assists and all that. Um, and yeah, I just like playing with these two. And that's it, guys. Uh, the ref blows. It's for this final whistle, and we win the game 5-0. Destroyed Venezuela, and that's a very good thing, as you guys know. And Borja... I would imagine he gets a 10 out of 10. Yes, he does. 10 out of 10 for Miguel Borja. Very, very good player. A 9 out of uh, 9.5 out of 10 for James Rodriguez. Very good partnership uh, that game. Just, just very good, very good. And our next game is against Hungary, and I think we should beat them as well. But we'll see what happens. It all depends on us, because sometimes um, smaller rivals can complicate. And I know Hungary actually has more history than us, but like at the moment, you know, they have a pretty bad team. But yeah, we'll see what happens. Anyways guys, um, so we only won 1-0 and Borja gets the goal again. Um, what I was trying to say is that um, hopefully Hungary wouldn't play the, the way they did in the 1954 World Cup Final, but you know, um, 
They didn't, but I mean, we beat them 1-0. Um, Borja is just amazing. And, um, but that's something to consider. We only won 1-0 to Hungary. We should have beat them more. At least it was like the Hungary of the 1954 World Cup, uh, which was amazing Hungary with uh, Puskas. And anyways, guys, so we won the game. And, um, yeah, unfortunately, James Rodriguez ended up getting injured. So uh, hopefully he could play the next couple of matches because, you know, obviously not for Real Madrid. He's injured right now, but I'm talking about the next couple of matches for Colombia. So that way we can, um, you know, play with him, especially at the World Cup is when I need him most. You know, so hopefully we, we could win the World Cup. That's their goal. Uh, or, I mean, really our manager goal is to try to make it to the semifinal. But um, I want to win it all, you know. Uh, so, yeah, hopefully we could do that. Um, thank God we're already qualified to the World Cup. So, I mean, the, the past manager, Jose Peckerman, he's doing good. Real life, not 100% sure. Hopefully we will. But, you know, we're in sixth place right now by, like, a one-point difference. But I, we, I think we should go. Anyways, so yeah, unfortunately we're gonna have to take Hamis off and we replace him for Quintero. So yeah, I hope you guys uh, like this video. Please smash that like button, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, go check out some more of my videos and peace out.